Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here we go. Here we go. Strap in, buckle in, tighten those seatbelts, put those shoulder restraints on because this is going to be a wild and crazy ride. I got two things to talk about today. Two. Two things. Uh, Magic Cat reached out to me because I reviewed their Honor deck. It's Mark deck. I'll talk about this a little later. But I reviewed their Honor deck over in the membership section because it was a new Mark deck and uh, I didn't have it. And if you know me, I love Mark decks. I love reader decks. I love Mark cards. And so I tried to review them as much as possible. Ordered it from penguinmagic.com. And then uh, did my review, Magic Cat was like, that's awesome. Uh, and so they sent me some stuff. So they sent me some stuff, and today I wanna to talk about Wand to Ball. Now, what is Wand to Ball? Wand to Ball is exactly like it sounds. You have a magic wand, the traditional black wand with the white tips, and then uh, in a flash, in an instant, in a puff of smoke, it becomes like a white ball. But before we get too deep into the review, this would be a great time for you to hit like, hit subscribe, hit those notification bells because, uh, because you haven't done it yet, I guess, <laughs> right? You haven't done it yet. When I look at my YouTube stats, only half of you have subscribed to this channel. And really, subscriptions, that's, that's how I know that you guys watch and you guys appreciate. If you guys want me to continue to do this, if, if this is something that has value to you, uh, please hit that subscribe button. That is the best way you can say thank you. And it takes two seconds. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything but your love. All right, Wanda Ball. Let's say you pay $60 to your favorite retailer. What are you going to get? Uh, you get a little red box, a little small box. Inside that, you're getting the ball slash wand gimmick. It's just one thing. It's all self-contained. Okay, and you'll get a little card. And of course the card has a scannable UPC. It'll give you access to a 12 minute tutorial. And let me throw out just right here. Um, I noticed that when I went to penguinmagic.com and looked at the ad copy for this, it says no instructions included. And I don't know how many places it might say that, but um, the instructions are definitely included because I watched them. Is it what I thought? Yes, it is what I thought. It's really like an appearing cane trick really, but just in reverse, kind of, sort of. It has a it has a kind of a tape measure feel to it, if you know what I mean. So it is well made, it is well made. Uh, I've played with mine a lot. Um, trying to get ready to film a performance actually for a YouTube short that I wanna do. So I've been practicing with it a lot and it's held up. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? The video is 12 minutes and it's shot vertically. So it's shot for cell phone. There's no verbal instruction at all. It's all done to music. And it's simply a unlisted YouTube video. As far as what they're gonna teach you, of course, they'll cover how the prop works, how to hold it so that it looks natural. Then they're gonna walk you through several tutorials. The first, of course, is the initial effect, wand to ball. Then they'll do wand to a silk. And in that case, uh, you're really hiding the ball and you're not exposing it. You're doing a w magical wand that turns into a silk. And he does do some over the shoulder shots, some magician view shots, which is nice. Uh, then he'll do wand to thimble, which is really multiple thimbles. And then he does a combination of several of those different effects running together in a working routine. And then the longest routines are the last two. He talks about how to use it as a multiplying ball routine uh, shell, of course, not included. And that would just be a single multiplied ball. He then does a second routine with multiple multiplying balls. And then he closes with a wand to confetti trick. Pocket space, the ball is palmable. I know it kind of looks like uh, a billiard ball. It's not exactly that large. It's, it, the ball is small enough that you could palm it without revealing it. Angles wise, of course, that just goes right back into what I just said. It's palmable, right? But Obviously it's white, so it could be seen depending on where people are standing. So I, you know, this is really gonna be reserved for stage and social media where you can control those angles. Can it be inspected? Of course, nothing can be inspected. The wand cannot be inspected and you could not hand the ball out to be inspected either. Again, let's repeat, this is probably best 
stage magic, right? Stage or parlor, but probably stage or social media. How much practice does it require? It is self-working. You know, ironically, when it said there were no instructions included, I took that to mean you'll be able to figure this out on your own. <laughs> and you can. Uh, you, you can. I, I, I played with it a little bit and then I kind of saw, oh, this is how it works. And really, I, I was able to figure it out and do it without even watching the instructions. So by the time I got around to watching the instructions, I was like, oh yeah, I, I figured it out. How much setup and reset is there? Well, it does reset itself, but you wouldn't want to reset it in front of your audience because then they would know exactly what you were doing, right? So you have to come out with the wand ready to go. It's not an appearing wand trick because if you do it that way, then they're going to figure it out. Positives. All right, so what are the positives? Um, it's, it's a perfect illusion, right? It's a great little stunner. It's a great lead-in. Obviously, you're not going to wave the wand around for a long time. And the point is to make it catch their attention so they know what it is, but then it vanishes and becomes something else. So it would be a great attention grabber as your lead into a silk routine or like uh, they teach you in this, a multiplying balls routine. Negatives, uh, it does make noise. It is not quiet. It is not quiet. You know, I mentioned a tape measure earlier. It's, as, it's about as noisy as a tape measure. So uh, that's why I would say it's stage where you're gonna be distanced so that you don't have that sound, right? Or you have music laid on top of it, or you can do it on social media where you can remove the, the sound. Uh, and the only other thing I didn't really love about this is the sound clip they got for the music is really short, so it loops often. So when you have even 12 minutes, 12 minutes of looping music, it, it tends to be a re little repetitive. Is it worth your money? It is $60, 60 bucks. And, you know, I say this often, stage tricks are more expensive. So the good thing about stage tricks are they look great visually, right? They look great visually and they do what they need to do. And so if, if stage magic is your thing, like who would like this? I think if, you, if stage magic is your thing or maybe even kids magic, I think this works great for kids magic too, just so long as you can find a way to work around the, the noise. All right, so where do you pick this up? Where can you find this? Uh, jlmagic.net. That would be your first choice. Uh, I noticed that it's also out at Vanishing Inc. And it is also available at penguinmagic.com. So let's talk about the Honor Marked deck. Let's talk about the Honor Marked deck. And this is only gonna be a brief overview. This is gonna be quick, just so that you get the ins and outs so you know to look for it. If you want the longer, more in-depth review, I actually did two. I did two longer in-depth reviews over in the membership section, if you haven't yet uh, found your way there, it's only at buck 99 a month. You get two extra videos every single week. Just click the join button down below. The Honor Mark deck by Magic Hat is 12 bucks. 12 bucks, that's a great price for a Mark deck. It includes 52 marked cards, two jokers, one blank face card, and a double back card. You're gonna get a download video. You're gonna get a tutorial that's 14 minutes long. It is in Korean. It does have subtitles, but it's full of Really funny jump cuts and memes. They make it really entertaining to watch. Uh, the video is going to cover a couple of things. So first, the marking system, right? The marking system is very well hidden. For all of you that say, you know, I've never found a mark deck that works best for me because I always think the marks are too obvious. This is a reader back deck, which means it will say 6D for 6 of diamonds. It will say A, you know, C for Ace of Clubs but the marks are so well hidden, you need the tutorial to find them. You won't find them without it. And really, I didn't like the marking system at first. It was too difficult for me, I thought. But you know, it only took about 30 minutes to learn and I'm actually coming around to it and I really am starting to love the marks on this. There's also a very subtle one-way back design. It's very subtle, it's not a mark. Sometimes you look for a mark for a one-way back design, it is not a mark, it's more subtle than that. The deck also comes in a deck order, which means if you can do two perfect pharaoh shuffles, it'll go right into Cy Stebbins, which is great for card workers. It has an easy open cellophane box, and it's printed with custom quality controls, so it has smooth edges. So it looks like a deck of bikes, but it's going to handle so much better. Plus, you get two identical jokers, which makes this perfect for sandwich effects and Monty effects. Plus, it has the classic card case back that hides cards. And lastly, why is it called the Honor Marked Deck? Well, it's called the Honor Marked Deck because they wanted to show appreciation, show honor for the days of old when learning magic had value. 
when learning magic was precious, when we had mentors, when we learned from a teacher, when we learned from a book, and magic wasn't just this kind of throwaway, casual art form where we just learned cheap tricks off the internet. They said magic should be honored. Well, that's everything I can say about Wand to Ball and the Honor Marked deck from Magic Cat. Of course, I wanna thank Magic Cat for allowing me to have these items so that I can do the review for you and you can find them wherever quality magic tricks are sold. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. But wait, are you not getting enough magic orthodoxy in your life? Not getting enough of your very favorite magic reviews? Good news, you can join this channel. That's right, you can join Magic Orthodoxy for only $1.99 a month. $1.99 gives you access to eight brand new videos every single month. Eight. Eight new videos that are unseen by the rest of the world. You will have exclusive access to them. Plus, if you join right now for a buck ninety-nine, you'll get access to over a hundred videos that are already in the membership section. That's right. A hundred videos. What kind of content? Even more magic videos. Top 10 lists best of the year, head-to-head -head magic tricks, and my exclusive thoughts on performance and theory. Two extra videos every single week, $1.99. Just scroll down to where it says Magic Orthodoxy. There's a button next to it that says Join. Click the Join button, and it'll walk you through a series of menus that'll hook you up and get you access today.